Okay. <laughs> so my, my name is Melvin Carlyle and I run um, Mind Body Spirit. And every now and again we're lucky enough to be able to present to someone like the ones of you and bring them to Manchester, which people don't seem to do. So we've got a lot of faith in Manchester. We love it up here. Another question that, that, that um, and it's, it's uh, it just come out okay. with it, I suppose. What about the private moments that we all have and need? Oh, that's the private, I'm so afraid to... So we're going to do the bath, we're going to do that. Well, it's a silly question, but do the angels sort of say, okay, yeah, you get on with that. No. You get on with that. <laughs> we'll turn their backs. No, they don't. They're actually, they don't look on us in that way. Um, how can I explain? They see our soul through the human body. Okay. And our soul is just so perfect. You know, they're in the loo with you, I'm afraid. They're in the bath with you. They're with you when you're with your boyfriend or your husband. You know, they're with you when all the good things are happening, but they're with you when all the bad things are happening as well. They literally see everything. Everything? Everything. Okay, thank you for I've that. I've never had a private <laughs> moment in my life. <laughs> I tell them to go away and they may hide behind a pillar, see there's pillars here, but that's all, they would be peeping at me, but my guardian angel wouldn't go, the others would move away, but your guardian angel cannot leave you at all for one second, and that's what you have to remember as well, and, and that has been a great comfort to so many people all around the world, of all ages, of knowing that. Good evening, my name's Hilary. Um, do we have the same guardian angel throughout our lives? Yes, your guardian angel never leaves you. It comes with you. It's already there before you even come. Uh -huh. And it comes with you. And when you're conceived, yes. it's right with you all of the time. And, does and when you die, it leaves with you. It okay. brings you to heaven. I know it doesn't stay with you all the time. But I do know if some, if God sends someone back, that soul now, it's not the human person, sends that soul back, you know, at any time for any particular reason, um, the same guardian angel comes back with that soul. Because you have to remember, that guardian angel is the gatekeeper of that soul. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. I'm standing on that as well. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, good evening. Um, I'm fairly new to so I don't know whether you've ever explained this before. I've noticed that you refer to the angels as he individually. Um, can you give an explanation why there's never been a female? A female angel? Angel. Um, but there has been. Has there been? Yes. As I say, I'm fairly new to listening about oh, your experiences, yeah. so I yeah. don't know whether you've covered that in your books. Well, there's Angel Alicia, oh. and she's, she gives a female appearance. You have to remember, angels are neither male or female, mm -hmm. you know, but when they appear to you, and especially to myself, I can only go by myself, is, you know, if they appear as male, they always then appear as male. But I, I have noticed sometimes um, when someone's guardian angel would open up, um, it could appear as male, but other times it would give a female appearance. And sometimes, I couldn't tell you. They just do that for us. It's the only way I can explain it. It's, it's a human thing that they do for us, something we would recognize. Okay. Okay. Thank you.